In this final example, this is probably the most traditional of simultaneous equations that you can find. So we're wanting to find the intersection of these two lines. So we're going to number this equation number one and this equation number two. So I'm going to want to either eliminate the x's or the y's. I'm going to eliminate the y's. So I'm going to have to multiply equation one by five. So one times five. And we're going to get 25x plus 10y is equal to 10. I'm going to call that equation number three. And I'm also going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So I'm going to get 6x plus 10y is equal to 16. And that's going to be equation 4. So now I'm in a position where I can eliminate the y's by subtracting equation 4 from equation 3. So 3 take away 4, we're going to get 25x take away 6x is 19x. And the 10 y's cancel. 10 take away 16 is minus 6. So x is equal to minus 6 over 19. So not a very nice number at all. We're then going to substitute that into either of the two original equations. So I'm going to go with equation number 1. So I'm going to sub that into equation 1. So we're going to have 5 lots of minus 6 over 19 is minus 30 over 19 plus 2y is equal to 2. Now for convenience sake I'm going to replace the 2 with 38 over 19 because 2 is, is 38 over 19. Okay. I'm now going to add 30 over 19 to both sides and I'm going to get 68 over 19. Then I want to halve both sides, and I'm going to get 34 over 19, halving the numerator there. So the coordinates of the intersection is minus 6 over 19, and the y-coordinate, 34 over 19. And that is the intersection point of the original two equations.